what's up you guys it's me Nian, or you can call me alex and welcome to this story time that i'm about to present to you guys so the thing is that i know um i should have posted this video during pride month but i know i think i didn't post for like three or two weeks to be honest because i was doing like a lot that month so pride month like really took a you know out of me but the funny thing is like during pride month that a lot of people wanted to know like my story and then they wanted to know like how was it or like you know like what happened and like like every like and, you know com not like you know pe people trying to compare stories but like they wanted to hear like did you get rejected or like did they accept you and i'm just like well i'll tell you the story and then like like all my friends like were just so happy and then they they all were telling me like you need to post this out there because you know you never know if someone will is like going through kind of like the same stuff as you or you or seeking or they're seeking like guidance or something and then i was just like you know what i'll post my story out there so let's just go ahead and dive right in first to so the first family member i came out was technically my sister to where it led to where this per the first guy that i slept with i told her and i was just like yes i did you know uh so and so is like this is like around i forgot this was like around 2016. so i came out like in 2016 like in the beginning of that year so it was like around after new year's like it was like late january if i can remember so I told my sister, I'm like, did you know so-and-so, like, he's bisexual? And he was just like, <laughs> he was like, she was just like, well, I, I didn't know he was, he was bi and all that. And I was just like, yeah, like, he's, he slept with a lot of guys that I knew. And then she was just like, like, your gay friends? And I was just like, yeah, he slept with them and he kind of slept with me too. And she was just like, wait a minute. Like, and then she's just laying down. She sat right back up and was just like, Wait, and then she was just like, shut the door. Cause like my parents were like kind of up, but like, you know, falling asleep in their room. And then the whole entire time we were whispering. So then my sister was just like, so this whole entire, okay, I, I don't know why I'm whispering, but it, it's in the moment we're like, so this whole entire time you're gay and you slept with so-and-so. And I was telling her like, well, like, yeah, it just happened. And then I just, starting liking guys and you know I I kind of like it and then she was like at that time was just like pondering but it was more like wow I actually have a gay brother and I'm over here like why are you smiling and she was just like oh my god like, I, she was like, I have a gay brother. Like, does that mean, like, oh, my God, like, we get to do makeup, and then you get to do my hair, and, like, and, and I was just like, I'm not that gay. <laughs> like, okay, even though, like, I'm doing all this. But I, I told her, like, I'm not that gay. I mean, I'll put a wig and everything just to be funny, but I'm not that gay where I'm going to wear an eyeliner and, you know, always have makeup and just flaunt and, like, not like James Charles, like, I'm not that to gay level, if you understand what I'm saying, to where I'm just gay where, like, I just like guys. I'm still me where I'm funny, I like to chill, smoke, drink, you know, Patron. And I'm just, <laughs> but it's more like I'm, I'm that type of dude where I like to chill, relax, you know, all that type of stuff. And then my sister was telling me, like, are you going to tell mom? And I was just like, well, my biggest concern is my father. <laughs> and we, we talk like that, talking about like, oh, your mother or your, your father. And then I would say the same thing, like, oh, your mother is pissing me off. So we, we that's how me and my sister, we talk. And then she, my sister was telling me that she's just like, I wonder how your father is going to feel about this. Because <laughs> I don't know how he's going to react. And then I said, that's my biggest concern. How I saw the picture was, I felt like at that time, my mother was going to be 50-50 to where she's going to be like, okay, either I might accept you or I, I am going to accept you. So it was more like 
it's just a bold statement, but I felt like my dad was gonna be a harsh, no, I'm not gonna accept you at all. That's how I felt at that time. So it, it was that, just having that felt like a huge threat to me. So I was just more concern, concerned because in, in, in my, my, my father, me and my father's relationship, we, <laughs> we have like our ups or downs, but we mostly have our ups. So we're like, you know, we like to have a lot of father-son bonding time to where we go out or we do stuff together. So we, we're always like communicating. And then that's what I was afraid of, you know, just to like break that bond. I was so concerned about that. To where it was just scaring me to where like I don't want nothing to change and like I, I just want this to stay the same and then with my mother it was more like my I know my sister was gonna have my back to where you know <laughs> we would kind of confront my mother about like you know because we my family we do I do have gay cousins and gay uncles to where uh, the other side of the family who I don't consider blood because I even told them that when my cousins came out, they bashed on them. So where I were saying like, oh, you're gonna go to hell and this and that. I never, I straight up told them like, you know, if any more cousins came out or any of my, you know, aunts or uncles, you know, that came, one, like, they decided to come out, like I straight up told them to their face, like you're no, you're no longer blood to me. You're not blood at all. I knew I would be mentally prepared if it ever came to that, you know, conclusion, if they decide to come at me. But I was so scared, like, if my mom would just tell the whole family, which she did in a way, but I'll get to it. But um, she, I was concerned, like, you know, she was going to, you know, either accept it and still tell people or be so, or be not accepting and, you know, spread hatred to my family about it. And then I was just like... I don't know how to do it. So fast forwarding months later, I decided that me and my friends, well, it was more like I was thinking, but my friends that are gay in that month decided to come out. Uh, it was more like, it was in June. I'm, I know I'm leaving details. So uh, they decided to come out in June and a lot of them got rejected. And then I was so surprised but it felt like where they were peer pressuring me to be like, you should come out to your parents. And then they were giving me so much plan B's if the, if I got rejected. To where like, we can find a house together, we'll be all fine. And then saying all this stuff like where, you know, everything's gonna be okay. And then I was just like, oh, ooh, a lot of pressures on this. and. I, I was really thinking about it. And it was it was like the day before, you know, going to Chicago Pride out there. And I was really, really, really devastated, but like still like, like, like stressed out and nervous, but like, I don't know if I should tell them or should I tell them? Like, I don't know. And then like, even my parents knew like, oh, like you're going to, you know, gay pride to support your friends. And like, that's so cool. And I'm like, yeah. It made the news where, like, I did, like, was, I was on camera, like, just, like, waving, saying hi. But, um, it all came back to where we were taking the train ride home that my friends were telling me, you, are you going to tell your parents? Is this going to be the day? And then I was just straight up like, I don't know. And where? I really don't want to think about it. But I decided that, um, uh, like, I'll just think about it. And I just want to go home, to, you know, take a nap, relax, because I had a, like a long day out there in Chicago. All right, so I decided to wake up that night, and it just led to where okay, I'm gonna do it. Like I'm, I forgot. Like I'm just like, <laughs> like I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna get it out there, and I want to see what they say. So I was in a group chat with them, telling them like, hey, I'm gonna come out. So my parents, I'll fill you in later. If anything happens, I'm gonna call my friend Tony and let you know, like, I'm, I'm gonna come stay the night. And everyone was just like on board and if anything happens, you know, we got you. So it led to where I wanted to sit with my mom. 
Ooh, it's really getting to me. Because <laughs> it, it, was, it was so emotional where people were hugging me because how it was. But um, I decided to sit on the couch with her and it just... Uh, it, I felt so much pressure to where I was just like, I don't know, like I'm so nervous. And then it, it was, it, it lent, and then the commercials were going on about gay commercials and all that. And then it, it showed like, you know, uh, the gay parade they, they showed and my mom was just like, oh my God, did you have fun and everything? I was just like, yeah. Like I, I had so much fun. And she was just like, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. Cause like I, every time I tell this story, it's just, it gets to that, like, that part. And then it just, just like, oh my God. So I uh, started to um, really try to build up courage to be like, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. And then I told my mom that I was just like, so what would happen if, like, one of your kids were gay? And she was telling me that, like, I will always still love them. And then, like, she was telling me, like, you know, you got uh, gay cousins. I know. <sighs> I'm tearing up because it's so, it still gets to me when I tell the story. But <sighs> oh. <sighs> she would tell me that, um, did you know, um, you know, your your Theo's gay and then you have your your cousins that so and so's gay and did you know so and so's gay and I was just like, Yeah, like like, you know, <laughs> we've been in fights, but like, you know, I always knew that they were gay, like cause I always loved them for who they are. And then my mom was just like she's just like, I, I still love them with all my heart if they're gay. Because she's just like, I know that it was God's blessing to give them to them. <laughs> right there, it just struck me to where I'm just like, oh shit, I really want to back out from this. And then she was telling me that, that why are you gay? And then I was just like, surprise. And she like, she was just like, really, you're gay? And I was just like, yeah. And then that's when it started striking me to where like, like, oh my God, she's gonna reject me. <laughs> and then I, I was just sitting there wondering how I could do this. <laughs> like, I felt really disgusted by this whole thing. Addressing it to her to be like, I don't want you to reject me or my father. Like, I just sat there and think all of this, and I'm just like, I don't want this to happen. <laughs> and then my, my sister came out of her room, and then she was just like, ready for if anything happens. And then my mom was just like, she was just like, you're, you're always be my baby, because I love you unconditionally. <laughs> because God gave, gave me your, gave me you. And I always appreciate who you are. And I just started crying like how I am. And then I was just like, I'm, I'm so scared. I didn't know how to deal with this. I didn't know how it was gonna go down. And she was telling me that she loves me for who I am because she was just like, I, I love, like, who you are and everything. Because she was just like, I know, like, you, I always see, like, you're achieving everything. And then she was just like, and then now, she's like, now that I know you're gay, I can see you achieve so higher. And I was just like, I told her I love you. My sister started like, you know, tearing up to be like, we're like, you know, we're all happy. And then the, the more scariest part happened that my dad was wondering why, why we were all crying. And then I was just like, all right, round two, to be like, I hope, you know, he accepts me. 
And then I, I couldn't even talk because I was really crying. And then my mom was just like telling him in Spanish, like, like, oh, like your son came out that he's gay. And then my dad stood there. Like, I don't know if you can see this arch, but he stood right here. This, this is all happening right here in the living room. And then he stood there at the, at the arch and was just like, he's like, he's gay. And I was just like, yeah, I am. And then he was just, he just stood there like a good two minutes, really like, like just thinking about it. And then I was just like, oh God, like, I'm already thinking negative about like, this is gonna break our, our, our bond and like our father and son time. And then it just, it was really like, I, it's just so much weight. Like it felt like a little with my mom and then it just went back down harder on my dad. And then he just told me that, he's just like, you're not gonna dress up in girls clothes, are you? And I was just, <laughs> I started laughing. Like, just start laughing. And I said, like, no. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not that type of gay people that dress up in clothing like that. And then he had the hugest relief on his face. And he told me, he was just like, oh, thank God. He's just like, I really don't want a second daughter. And then <laughs> I started laughing. And then... My mom was just like, just calm down. She's just like, me and, me and your father, we love you. And then we we always support you. Ain't nothing, di she, 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 she showed up was just like, ain't nothing different. It ain't nothing different. It's just you like guys. You're still you. You're still you. You just like guys. And then my sister hugged me and then where she was just like, all right, let's all stop crying now. And I decided to go back in my room and just text all my friends, telling them that I'm, I'm accepted. And I was so happy by it. To where they all congratulated me, they called me. They were telling me like, you know, like, oh my God, like I wish your, your parents or my parents. And then they're like saying like, I wanna live with you now and then everything. And then I was just, Everything just weighted off my shoulders. I felt so much better. And so, and it was just so, it was just, I don't know how to explain it, but I just felt so much better. And it was just, it was just truly, truly amazing. And when I decided to like come out of my room, just to like eat with my, with everybody. My mom was just like, straight up was just like, wanted to gossip and was just like, so did you fool with any guys yet? Or what kind of guys do you like? And then my dad was just like, look, like we're not gonna talk about this just yet. It just all happened. And I was just like, I agree. Let's just, we'll talk about this tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. And I was just like, we'll just all talk about this tomorrow. So we could all be great. And then I woke up and then next thing you know, I'm still me. It really got to me. I, whew, I really hope you guys enjoy the story. And I really hope like you understand when like this whole issue because trust me you're not alone you are not alone too i know like for every gay every gay person that's ex experienced like this whole this judgment and your cloud and everything to where like you, you know you're searching for videos trust me you are not alone like you are not alone to where like you will always have people to support you even though like you think like there's no nobody that's going to support you out there in the world there's people that are going to reach out, you know, take your hand and be like, come on, they always have you. And I've always was scared of my parents because I know that's a big issue thing with, you know, everyone, but that's my side of my story. So I hope you guys leave a comment, like, and subscribe. 
and just tell me what you guys think. <laughs> but please don't tell me about this whole crying thing. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.